Howdy folks, Fracking Toaster here. So today I'm going to move the temple from the old map to a brand new one. And in order to do that, I use a program called MC Edit. I'll post the link to the piece of software in the description below. So I've got the old map downloaded from the server over to the desktop. And with that, we're ready to begin. So let me open up MC Edit. I use a 64 bit version. We're going to open the level. And since I saved the old map to the desktop, I go to the desktop, MTP, and select the level.dat file. And here we are. This is the temple project map. Uh, the controls are the WASD controls, um, Q and Z to go up and down, to rotate, just use the right mouse button, hold it down, and you can move the mouse and rotate, steer. So let's go over to the temple, I believe it's down this way, it's my markers. Here we are. So I want to copy the whole area, including the blank spots, because the temple is going to be huge. So I'm going to go down to this first corner because it's easy easy to see. Actually, let's go check out the other corner. So the other corner should be all the way down here. It's the Kapurum. Alright, I filled it in a little bit, but it should be... shouldn't be... Here's the edge. It shouldn't be hard to find the corner. I believe it was 300 by 300 blocks. So let's go back to this corner. Oops. And it's hard to make out, but we're going to select that one by left clicking. And then wherever we go, it will make a selection. You can also, I need to s steer a little bit. Let's go. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than 300. How much was it? Four hundred? Is it four hundred? Let's see. Yeah, I think it was four hundred. All right, four hundred it is. So, I'll drag the width to four hundred. The length, four hundred, and I'll make the selection right there. Now, I definitely don't have the height right, but we're going to nudge it. Let me just uh, see how high I have to make it. And since I also don't want the bottommost layer that I currently have selected, so first of all, You see where the selection on this corner is blue corresponds to this nudge button. Click it. We can uh, nudge it up by pressing the Q button. And you see it just moves the selection up one block. You can do the same thing 
with the other corner, the yellow corner. And we don't need to go over there to see it, but I'm going to hang out here because this is the highest point. I'm going to click and hold and nudge it up until we get all of the temple. Is that it? Is that all of it? I think it's... Let's see, nudge one more. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now to save it, we're going to save it as a, the selection as a schematic. A schematic file. That way we can op import it into the new map. So we click copy. It might take a little while. A little preview of what you have, how big the file is, how big uh, the selection is. Click save. And it'll ask you where to put the schematic file, where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it right into its default folder. Now we're done with this, so we press Control. We want to open a new world, so that's Control L, or you can just hold Control and click the command you want. So let's go to Load World, and it automatically opens up the worlds that you have in your .dot Minecraft folder, and since 1.9 came out. I went looking for a new map because I can use the old one, the old 1.8 maps, and I've decided on this one. I'm just going to clear this. The temple has to be sea level, so it needs to go down here. I need to find the default spawn point. And you click spawn. You click go to spawn. It will bring you to where the spawn is click import select our MTP schematic and it's a huge selection all right yeah darn it temples a little bit bigger than I thought just a little bit all right I've opened up MTP in Minecraft walked around a bit so I can generate more of the terrain and hopefully there's enough room. Let's select one corner, bring it to the other. Sometimes these controls are a little tricky. see what that takes all right it cuts through some water um, let me look at the border just to make sure it doesn't do anything weird weird like go through a ravine and stuff like that I think uh, we nudged it up one I think it does go through, jump past the ravine or something. And it's fine over there. Yeah, right here. A little bit of the corner. Just a little bit of it. That's good. That's fine. That's not, not too bad. Alright. It cuts through a mountain. Oh, it cuts through a pretty cool mountain. a little bit. I guess that's acceptable. Let's see what else. Oh. I want to try to avoid cutting through mountains. But looks like this mountain will be gone. And it's good. That's good. 
Good, good, good. Let's clear this area. Look at it. Update its chunks. The sun rises from that direction. And that's how... That's where... The Kaporm has to face. Let's see. Let's put it in position. I guess the best thing to do is just to place it and then nudge it into the right, the right position. Place it. Enter. Alright. Seems good to me. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the spawn point. And change it. Just put it right in front of the temple. That way when we fall to our deaths or whatever. We'll just start back here. I guess that's a good spot. Fix it. Oh, whatever. Whatever. I'll fix it later. Anyways, let's save this thing. Control S. Well, here we are inside the new map, and it looks good, especially with the new lighting. I really like it. I've already been in this map before, but didn't press record. So, here I am inside of it again. Let's fly over to the main temple. It looks really good with the new lighting. I should have turned off all the monsters, because now it's crawling with monsters everywhere. But, yeah, I really like the new lighting. And uh, the new building blocks and bars and whatnot are going to come in handy. Because this space right over here, you can see I already put bars there. There's supposed to be bars here. Uh, we were trying to do it with fences, but as you can see, it don't look too good. But the bars are perfect. Yeah, I really like it. And the map placement is excellent. There's a few things to fix inside, but we can do that in game. Yeah, it looks good. I wish I could kill myself to test the spawn point, but since I'm in creative, I can't seem to kill myself. Teeming with monsters. I should have turned that off. But I will I will turn it off when I move this map to the server. Okay. Well thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like my videos, you know, if you, you want to help out, just click the like button, leave a comment or whatever. And it helps out big time. Gives me more exposure. Okay, I'll see you later.